We have great news, Steve. I mean, we have uh, oh. people. We're going to be watching every race. We're going to have the real-time crime desk going at frankspeech.com, everybody. <laughs> you can watch me there t tomorrow night. Um, we are tracking every race by cyber. I want all the bad guys out there to know, through the Edison report, we are watching, and we also have another way to watch what's going on with the computers and the machines. So I'm putting them all on notice, Steve. They're all on notice. So I feel we like are, I'm on notice. And by the way, you can turn in at the crime.frankspeech.com if you see anything. Turn oh, yeah. it in there. We're crime crime.frankspeech.com. Got it. Bringing everything to um, everything will be done on January 9th. We have over 200 counties are going to be hand counted and and. Uh, um, uh, in front the of cameras down. that, that we are not telling which counties yet that we've that we've got upwards of 200 committed to it, and everybody that so far with the polling, even my home state of Minnesota, the governor's race is deadlocked, and that um, so Scott Jensen and our crooked governor Walsh in Minnesota are deadlocked. Everybody, we're going to override these algorithms yeah. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So many people have waited. Hang, hang, hang on, hang, like hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I want to make sure people uh, shut sh 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 your trap for a second. I need to make fun of you to your fucking face while you pay for my show. Get it? We're having back on this afternoon. You're out there, Ohio. Support the president, JD Vance. Whole ticket. The real time crime desk. What is it, and how do people follow? Because this is only Mike Lindell can do this. But uh, right. other, how do... <laughs> no, only Mike Dill Lindell is dumb enough to do this. It's a waste of fucking time but i'm for it you know it's like when they when they uh put out you know like we have to we've got a killer on the loose and we have to ask the public and like they get nine thousand loony calls yeah tell us what it Tomorrow is night, starting look at him laughing at him look at him laughing at mike pillow it's six o'clock steve and your show you guys can beam in on the real-time crime desk Oh, that yeah they'll, they'll they'll beam in on the real-time crime desk oh my god it's like a crime-a-thon you can watch it at frank's speech Oh, oh yeah yeah i know i got you Mandel tv at oh yeah we'll, we'll check in 6 p.m tomorrow night we're starting we're gonna go through the night i have cyber guys with me some not cyber guys the, are they the ones from uh the bg's version of sergeant peppers mean mr mustard she leaving home the right. best in the world and they're going to be showing you the best cyber guys in the world. The charts of each race. Charts? Are they stealing this one? Is there no fraud in this one? Yeah, they'll know if there's fraud live. <laughs> it's going to be the real-time crime death. Hey, dickhead, what if, what if your dudes go, there's fraud happening, and a bunch of your lunatic followers show up there with fucking guns? Are you nuts? If we get people calling in or reaching out to us at the crime uh, crime dot .com, any <laughs> the nerve of this fucker crime dot dot com. Anybody there, uh, if, if reaching out, we'll be reporting that to you. It's almost these are going to be live. We're not going to let them. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I would hate that the fraud be you know rebroadcast. Them steal this right in front of us this time. We no no no. They'll they'll steal it later. Obviously. No too much. We have the best technology now. Uh, I, there's a lot of things I would accuse you of, Mike Pillow. Knowing too much is not even close. To watch them, okay. and we are going to be watching them. Mike, 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 real quick, I've only got about 30 seconds, but there's Fetterman just put out a memo to the media. says it's going to take many days to count Pennsylvania. What's Mike Lindell going to be doing about that, sir? Well, we'll be, we'll be telling you why. Obviously, if they're saying that now, we'll be telling them why is it going to take you. You're going to try and cheat. We'll have all the pieces of the puzzle, Steve, of, gee, this is why Pennsylvania is going to take seven days. Obviously, it's probably home of the biggest crime in the country. Well, third biggest, clearly. Remember, Steve, you're talking about a state that turned in their electors with more votes than voters, Steve. Yeah, that's just a lie. Like, just dumb. Like, he just repeats it for the fuck of it. Like, at a certain point, you just get bored with debunking it. It's against the country. They got more people than they've got Pennsylvanians. They've got more people than buildings. Constitution of the United States. We'll be watching Mike Pennsylvania Lindell. with a fine tooth Mike. comb. Watching it with a fine tooth comb. I I feel better. We have great news, Steve. I mean, yeah, please. We have. Oh, that it's starting back up. Sorry, the same thing. Okay, so is shit still going on? Yeah. Okay.
Um, so this is Michael and Dell's Telegram channel. Um, and it like all day long, it's just like this shit and ads for pillow shit. Election nights, but it's going to be crime and crime and crime, crime, crime. This one, we now have an LA County CVRs which show absolute voting machine manipulation in LA. Uh, the Smartmatic cast vote records from LA County and they show computer manipulation. He means counting. Uh, well, en route. Okay, yeah. Oh, and this is uh, the Great Reset, the Great Awakening. And oh, God. Who are these douchebags? This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. We're here to do a thing. Doing that thing for America. I got a big gold jacket and I'm doing the thing with my kid. Oh, yeah. shit going down at the thing where they're all gathering around like crazy people. There's literally more people at that thing than there were at the last Trump rally. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, none of these people are going to vote. I'm dead serious. Oh my God. What do you, what do you think the uh, VIP package is? Hal, that's my proper singing voice. Thanks very much. Thank you. Ugh, it's like, make, check people for tangerines. If anybody pokes me in the ribs with a fucking tangerine, I'm going to go down like a sack of grapes. Hey, their analogies are shit. Why, why would I gussy mine up? Ha <laughs> ha! Good edit, guys. Nice one. <laughs> this is a, that is rock solid. I felt I feel so much better. <laughs> Please tell me this jumps back. Oh, okay. There's a lot of good things going on. We, I'm looking forward. This has all come down to the apex in history. This an apex in history. Yeah, this is a this is a hinge point on Earth. Now, uh, next Tuesday, everybody, mm -hmm. you know, every everybody, everybody, work, everybody, everything, everybody has done to lead up to this point. We are so well prepared. I'm just telling you that we're well so if uh, the Republicans lose, you're basically going to say, hey, it must be legit because we covered all our bases. I'm prepared. I have a plan or we have a plan. We do. Somebody does. J J Brandon, you got that fucking plan thing we were working on? Does anybody know where the plan went? And uh, we're watching from every angle. Excuse me. <laughs> How dare you? Watching from er every angle. This is filth. We're watching from every angle. Yes, so you can see that there's no cheating everywhere. And then what's going on? Mike, what's going to happen? How do yeah, Mike, what's going to happen? I know. This is what do you mean, how do you know? Same machines this time. Nothing changed, motherfucker. It's either going to be uh, massive cheating or you're a lying son of a bitch. Which one do you think you, you'll, you'll say is the truth first? Will you admit to being a lying son of a bitch? Or will you point at, like, the machines, they they fixed them to make it okay. God, it's whatever God decides or however it's going to come up. I mean, we're all just doing... Yeah, we're all just messengers for God's vote. Everything we can do. And like God... Except in 2020, in which case Satan won or something. God take those pieces and, and, uh, and move on with them, you know. Yeah, God will just take the pieces and make something out of it, you know, with, like... Oh, yeah, just like the the testicles of the gods. They play with us for their enjoyment. Whatever that may be. I Nobody knows. You know, look at what just happened in Brazil. It's yep. a shame. It is. It is. Uh, I mean, I have, it's another carnival I've missed, and I always count that as bad. i got to go at some point. Uh, Eduardo Barcenaro, the president's son, is a friend of mine, and he... Mm -hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Who isn't friends with the fucking right-wing dictator of Brazil. You know what I mean? Dude gets around. Uh, they tried for the last two years to get paper put in, paper ballots. They mm -hmm. have a machine. You mean Wally's dad was running shit? They don't even have any paper. Yeah, they're out of paper. It's a There was a paper jam in Brazil. 
and nobody knows how to open up the back of the printer. It's fucked. So the machines, they wanted it so it was, you know, you'd go, they go same day voting, so you could, so you, you could have actually seen your vote, print, print it out on a piece of paper and put those in boxes so you'd have something to audit it. The judges there, the crooked judges in Brazil, I can say that I'm over here, they can't come and get me, maybe, you know. But they, uh, they... <laughs> Dude, you're, nobody gives a fuck. said, no, no, we're not gonna do that. What, why, right? Well, um, because it's too close to the election and uh, you don't want the leader to roll in with brand new machines that automatically print out ballots. You go, well, I guess we're fucked uh, right before the election that's very close. You don't want the government to change the systems by which they vote. By the way, the same systems that got him in office in the first fucking place. We know why, no. PC load letter, what the fuck does that mean? 5.1 million votes were stolen from Bolsonaro. Uh, it's, excuse me, it's carbonaro and it's a fantastic sauce. How do I know this? Because because it had to be because you're friends with his son. The same way, the same cyber guys that watch this, the Dennis Montgomerys and watching this, and it was just disgusting what they did. Okay, I'm I'm sold. It was disgusting. Thanks, Dennis. This is just disgusting. That's all you need to know. I don't know why you guys are even asking again. I, I got to be completely frank. Speech. <laughs> there now now it's sitting there's a window of time for them to save mm -hmm. their country and it yeah it's it's closing rapidly it's a short window mm -hmm. it is very short it's a ba it's one of those basement windows you have to crawl through sideways i believe the other that lulu by the way that lulu that was in L lula unless there's somebody else he's talking about like lemon prison the, the guy that you know this dictator um <laughs> you know this dictator you mean the guy they just elected if, if you badmouth him that was a they would come after you in Brazil if you bad. So the the challenger, if you badmouth the challenger, the government run by Bolsonaro would come after you. What? Before the election, if you said he was a criminal or whatever, he's in prison. I'm yeah. sorry, Cram Manuel, Ryan. With Lulu, okay. Criminal rhymes with Lulu. Thanks. Holy fuck. So I'm going, you know, I mean, it's disgusting. They couldn't even say that. And now they can't talk about the election. Have you ever heard that? You know, their news over there is as bad as ours. Only worse over there. If they're no, actually ours is worse. You know why? Why? Because they don't get foxed? Right now, what have they done with the Brazil story? Um, uh, they turned it into a, a coloring book, pop-up book. No, that's not what happened. What did they do with the Brazil story? Buried it on page A20 in the international news section instead of putting it on the front page. Did you, did you see it on Fox? No. Nope. No. Did you see it on Newsmax? No. Did you see it on any of the bad media? No. Yeah. You know what we've heard about that is through our own social media platforms and through the grapevine, so to speak. So to speak. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Here's uh, Time Magazine, Financial Times. Will international investors like Lula more than Bolsonaro? The Hill, what Lula's victory in Brazil means for Latin America. Foreign Affairs, what Lula's return means for the Amazon. The Guardian, Lula's victory in Brazil is a relief but won't solve the problem of globalized greed. The Reuters, Lula's transition team invites experts who help stabilize British, uh, sorry, Brazilian economy in the 1990s. Uh, Barron's, uh, party atmosphere reigns on Copacabana Beach for Lula supporters. Uh, De the Deccan Herald, tough choices as Brazil's Lula gets down to business. Al Jazeera, Lula is no more than a Brazilian Biden. All right, that's sweet. The return of Bibi and Lula, um, which is totally tied together. Whatever the fuck. Uh, Lula to unveil multi-billion spending plan to pay for social aid. Tough choices as Brazil's Lula gets down to business. Lula to unveil multi-billion spending. That's Bloomberg. Uh, Barron's party atmosphere. Shut the fuck up, Mike. This is where we're hearing our news from now. And it's, you know, if these news outlets, one of the things that has to happen from November 8th on, no matter what. Is, go sorry, is government control of news. So anyways, this is, the, this is the dickhead, like, moves that he's put there. Look at the tweet puppy, though. Look at the puppy. Get a soft, cozy dog. It's not even his fucking dog, I don't think. 
we the people. Anytime they start, they start saying we the people, the hair on the back of my neck stands up. 